Hello, everyone. Uh, this is Kathy Williams DeVries. Um, hoping that we're live. Not quite live on. Um, oh, there we are. Just gone live on YouTube uh, and hopefully Facebook. Hello, everyone. Kathy Williams DeVries here, coming to you from Brisbane, Australia. Uh, for the uh, geology fans um, who, before um, they came across me, you might have not even realised um, that uh, um, Brisbane existed. Um, you will find that it has some uh, interesting uh, geology. Um, I'll give you some of the geography of the place as well. So I know Edith's here and I know Deborah's here. Um, would love to know um, who else um, is here. Please uh, feel free to comment. Um, I get all your comments. Carol, Carol is here. So I thought I'd do this because I've missed being in the live chat. Um, John, hey, John. Uh, good to see you, uh, Edmonds uh, in Washington, I think. Is, uh, is that Washington or Western Australia? Uh, so um, uh, you're not going to see too much of this. I do have a lovely slideshow presentation, and I'll actually show you a really, really cool website um, if you want to uh, explore Harris, Illinois, Washington. Cool, cool. So we got some Washington fans. So I'm um, streaming via StreamYard and uh, it allows me to share my screen and it also allows me to have guests on. So if you want to chat to me live on camera, um, then uh, I can... You know, Wow, snow. <laughs> it's probably about 28 degrees Celsius here. It's actually a very mild day. Um, before Christmas, we were getting 35 degree temperatures, and that was just um, <laughs> unbelievably hot, especially because we were getting a lot of rain. Um, I know that we're due some rain, and... Um, but I've been, I've been, uh, I saw, um, I think one of uh, Gary Paul's um, pictures, um, or was it um, Mondo JW? It might have been Mondo JW um, of Saddle Mountain with the snow on it. And it's like, oh, it's so pretty, but I couldn't take the. Um, it's uh, just coming on midday. So, uh, yep, it's in the middle of the day here. Um, I'm going to have a snooze this afternoon because it's, it's New Year's Eve here. Um, coming to you from the future where it's New Year's Eve um, and in about six hours I'm going out to the local gin bar, um, Blind Tiger, for some New Year's uh, celebrations. So uh, that, should be, that should be fun. Um, I think there's about 130 different types of gin and uh, my husband and I are gradually, um, gradually working our way through them. So, <laughs> yes, Happy New Year's. Well, it'll be your New Year's Eve uh, tomorrow when uh, we get our... So I don't know whether I'm going to be up at 3 a.m. Uh, for next premiere, let alone sober <laughs> so if i'm still up it might uh, it might garner some um, interesting comments from me if uh um yeah see the good thing about being in the future uh is that um if the world ends well we know about it first uh, husband's just coming home <laughs> It's weird weather, isn't it? 
Mm. Oh, we like very delicious. Very um, very... Um, what, what's that? Nah, nah, Nick will have another thousand fans tuning in. Um, <laughs> um, but I've been loving the, uh, I, I've been loving that he's been uploading all these, his old videos. Um, I commented on uh, one of the videos that um, uh, maybe we'll see like a, a Benjamin Button uh, kind of progression as Nick gets steadily younger. Hey, Liz, it was nice to talk to you the other day. I, I got quite the shock when I hear this American voice and they're saying, oh, this is Nick from home. And I'm like, you're not calling me on my mobile from the US, are you? I got <laughs> Bill, nice to see you from Southeast Portland, Oregon. So uh, we've got a nice little bunch. So um, I'm going to introduce you to the geology of Southeast Queensland. <laughs> <Not drowning. laughs> um, I'm, so um, you may ask, um, where on earth is southeast Queensland? Okay. So what I'm going to do is step into my slideshow. And so here we have a map of Australia. We have six states and two territories. Okay. Um, so for some reason, Okay, it's not, uh, hang on. I'm still figuring this out. So I'm still, I'm still figuring, I'm still figuring this out. Um, I don't know. Um, I don't know why that was. It causing technical difficulties. Okay. Uh, let's try this again. Because I wanted to show you a lovely um, slideshow that I present, that I... Um, Let's try this. Ah, okay. So here we have a lovely slideshow that um, I have I have presented, and it should come up. Come on. Oh, that's not. Uh, ah. The slideshow is not coming up. Let me try that again. <laughs> oh, this is fun. Let's try this again. Okay, that's not what we want. We want, we want my slideshow. No? Okay. 
Should be able to. You can't hear sound? I was, um, can you hear sound now? Okay, I'm, I'm just having um, technical difficulties. Oh, good. Oh, good. Um, Let me try that again. Okay, so that's my entire screen. Now I want to show you. Wonder if this works. Does that show anything? I I presented a um. Anyway, yes, yeah, so you can see what I'm working with, but I don't know why. Um, I don't know why I can't see um, my screen when I do that. Um, How does that work? Does that work? Oh, I had an absolutely beautiful slideshow uh, presentation. Um, for some reason, uh, I can't get it to share. I should have. Um, I'm sorry about this, guys. Um, I had a I had a beautiful um slideshow. Ah, oh, there you go. Good, good on you, Jackie J. Um, I had a beautiful slideshow presentation. Um, maybe what I'll do is go into um application window raining in Oregon cool okay well anyway yeah I do have um, share screen um, and it's not letting me share the um, it's not letting me share the beautiful slideshow presentation um, I had planned. But anyway, I'll, um, I'll soldier on as best I can. Um, actually, what I'll do is... Um, share um, my Chrome window. How about that? Um, okay, I'll share my screen. And we'll go into this. All right, so you should see this. This is um, the Ausgen Geoscience Portal. So let me show you a map of Australia. So this is this is a map of Australia. And as you can see, there are a number of states, uh, Western Australia, um, Perth, the capital there, South Australia, Northern Territory, that's one of the territories. Hey, Daryl, 
uh, Queensland, New South Wales, Victoria. Now let's zoom in on. So this is you can see Queensland in the um, top right hand uh, corner. Now we zoom in. This is Southeast Queensland, and um, it's bounded on the north by the Sunshine Coast. Bounded on the south by the Gold Coast, um, and Brisbane is the capital, um, and the Gold Coast, um, the Gold Coast down there. So that's Southeast Queensland, and if you zoom in a bit more, so this is the um, geoscience portal. Um, and I've got the various um, uh, different, um, and actually in the, uh, we have a bay. We don't have any um, beaches, um, unfortunately, not really great beaches in Brisbane itself. Um, but we've got, uh, we've got some bay islands. Now, the Moreton Bay is actually just a drowned river valley and the Brisbane River actually used to um, flow right through the bay, right past the top island there. Then you've got Bribie Island as well and you can see you've got Brisbane and the Gold Coast. And then when, if we zoom in a bit more, We've got Brisbane itself. Field trip to Caddy's place. <laughs> well, I'll show you where I live. Okay, so you see that little red, you see that blob in the middle of the um, screen? There's three red blobs. Well, I wouldn't say the Gap's a beautiful place, but uh, <laughs> so I'm actually, I actually live in that red blob uh, and it's called the Inogra Granite and it's an intrusion from um, about 220 million years ago when there was a lot of volcanic activity um, and you can see we've got a river that runs through town and uh, there's a dam on it. There's only, there's only just the one dam on it, uh, Lake Wyvernhoe, and uh, that's um, the equivalent of two Sydney harbours. But, um, and so we've got a river that uh, runs through it. You can see it meanders a lot. Uh, there are entrenched uh, meanders um, and that's because um, the river, while it's been around for um, since the late um, Triassic, um, uh, because of the rise and fall of, um, yeah, Carol, uh, because of the rise and fall of um, sea levels um, instead of just a rise of land. Um, when sea level's been low, it's really cut into the uh, bedrock. Um, and so you get uh, cliffs and, um, but it's a dirty brown river. It's, uh, so uh, now, and you can see if I zoom further out, um, we've got um, this is a this is a broader picture. What I like about this particular site is you can click on um, a particular bedrock, and it'll tell you exactly what it is. So Naranley Fernvale. Beds. I might just um, that might uh, look a bit better. 
so the Naranli Fernvale beds is uh, one of the uh, bedrocks um, in uh, Brisbane and its surrounds. But um, what I was going to say is I'll just take you through a brief history. This is all I wanted to do was just take you through a uh, brief history um, of Brisbane. Now, I would like to say that, uh, you know, back in Rodinia times uh, that um, I could walk over to the back fence to John Stockton's house um, offer him a beer and invite him to a barbecue. Unfortunately, um, that was not the case. Um, Australia was connected to Gondwana land. Uh, the east coast of Australia was actually pointing south. Um, it was connected to Antarctica. Um, and the east coast of Australia uh, was a lot further west than it used to be. So Brisbane was actually deep ocean. It was part of a subduction zone. And um, the east coast of Australia was actually um, out here at Dolby. So you can see where it says uh, Dolby. So uh, the trench was around about Esk. Um, so unfortunately, uh, I wasn't so much walking over to the back fence and offering a beer as swimming in deep ocean facing south. So there was long periods of subduction. Um, and it pushed up um, the um, so that the the two main beds um, in Brisbane are the Bunya Fillite and the Naranli Fernvale beds. So um, your Bunya Fillite is in the western. <laughs> the esky. <laughs> so um, this, so you can't see my, um, you can't see my, uh, um, but anyway, uh, um, so I'll, I'll go through the different rock beds. So um, the Bunya Philite is um, a sedimentary rock. And uh, I'll just go through um, what it contains. So it contains slate, phyllite, aronite, and meta basalt. And if you look at the bunya phyllite, um, it's very much layered and it's also um, very inclined. Um, I was looking at some bunya phyllite um, out at Woolongabba. And uh, it was inclined at an angle of between 60 and 75%. Um, very, very inclined. Now, if you go, if you go to the west um, of the Bunya Philite, you come across the Naranli Fernvale beds. Um, and they're, um, again, accreted ocean, but slightly different um, in that you uh, have um, feldspar um, and a lot of big words, uh, turbidites. So um, you have um, conglomerate proximal turbidites. Um, and that would have been... Um, when uh, Brisbane was in deep ocean and Toowoomba was the continental shelf and uh, you had, yeah, and you had um, a lot of, uh, so you had, you had a lot of um, uh, uh, sort of uh, sediment coming down off the mountains 
um, which were out past Dolby, the volcanic arc. Um, and um, then actually, if you go a little bit further um, north, past the, um, so a little, there's a little bit more bunyophilite up there, but if you go past um, the South Pine Fault, you come across um, the Kuwongba beds and the Roxburg Greenstone. Um, and this comes from deeper in the subduction zone. So you've got some, you've got green schist, um, amphibolite. So all of these things that uh, we've been learning about from Nick in Washington, um, we've got here in Brisbane. This is a fantastic, um, thanks, Deborah. This is a fantastic uh, website. I just wish I could show you my slideshow. Why can't I slow show you my slideshow? It's like, oh. Um, and also, uh, so we had periods of subduction that went on for quite a while and um, they eventually pushed up um, Brisbane to uh, where it is today. So, but then um, 220 million years ago, um, subduction stopped and uh, the trench moved way further out into the ocean. And so we had a period of crustal extension. And that was uh, uh, that was a really um, exciting time volcanically. And I mean, we're talking violent stuff. I mean, none of the none of the um, volcanoes um, exist um, anymore. But um, what you see is um, in the red uh, is volcanic stuff. Um, so you can't see the volcanoes anymore, but what you can see are the intrusions. So, and you can see the fault lines as well. Um, I'm... <laughs> So um, this uh, blob at the bottom here, um, the red blob at the bottom, that's the Inogra granite. And this is what I live on. There's several quarries um, around here. Um, actually, one is uh, right behind the Dan Murphy's where we get, uh, where I get a lot of my alcohol. Um, and uh, uh, actually it makes part of Mount Kutha. Um, so, uh, yeah, uh, now to the uh, northwest of um, the Anogra granite. Um, you have the Samford grano diorite. Now, if you go up Mount Nebo, um, if you go up Mount Nebo, you'll come across the Jolly's Lookout andesite, which is the surface um, expression of this Samford grano diorite. So you have grano diorite, diorite, and I have no idea what that guy is. But um, the Sanford granodiorite, um, in terms of erosion, um, was not as hardy as the um, uh, Naranli Fernvale bed, so it's hollowed out a lovely valley called the Sanford Valley. Now, if you go up a bit further, um, you've got your Mount Samson granodiorite. Uh, now, I want to introduce you to um, another phenomenon. 
Uh, now, Daryl might know this. Um, in that, um, and I'll just uh, I'll just try and share this for you. Just give me a sec. I'll just get uh, back into StreamYard. Okay, um, I'm going to show you um, the result of a pyroclastic flow that happened 226 million years ago. Um, and it was one of uh, many pyroclastic flows. So Brisbane was really, really hilly because of the subduction process that had taken place. Brisbane was really, really, really hilly. So what would happen is you'd get a volcano blow its top, um, and these were really explosive volcanoes, and you'd get a massive pyroclastic flow. And uh, so you'd get superheated uh, gas and rock and would pile down river valleys and fill them up, uh, you know, 1,000 degrees Celsius going 200 kilometres an hour. And uh, when it came to rest, um, it would harden into a very hard welded tuff. Uh, Nick pronounces it tough, but the Australian pronunciation is tough. So... What you get what you get is, uh, and a lot of people don't know this, you've got to see these. No, these are much more explosive than the current cascades, I reckon. But um, you get what's called the Kangaroo Point Cliffs. Um, so, um, so you get what's called uh, the kangaroo point cliffs. Uh, now, these are an absolutely spectacular part of Brisbane. That's a real, there's some really good pictures of it there. So this is welded tuff. It's um, ignimbrite. It is, um, Daryl, yes. So, uh, and also the Kangaroo Point Cliffs are really great for um, abseiling down. Um, but what's, what's interesting is that the top of the flow is probably the top of the cliffs. Um, but what's interesting is that um, the cliffs are about 20 to 30 metres high and um, they go another 50 metres below the surface um, and caused um, absolute havoc when Campbell Newman uh, decided to uh, tunnel, uh, build some road tunnels underneath um, Brisbane. And, uh, um, yeah, uh, that didn't go so well because they ran into this tuff uh, and had to um, invent sort of really high-quality high borers to uh, bore through this incredibly hard rock. And what's interesting is that the river forms a peninsula called Kangaroo Point because um, it, it, couldn't, um, it couldn't go through the tuff. It, it had to go around it. And, um, yeah, so if I uh, go back to the geoscience portal, if I go back to the geoscience portal, I'll just zoom in on where this tuff is and you can see how it's gone down a river valley. So... Can you see, there is Kangaroo Point. That is the peninsula. And you can see that green stuff. Um, this is the flow of the um, 
So this is your Brisbane tuff, volcanoclastic sedimentary rock. And uh, so ignimbrite, a conglomerate uh, sandstone and shale. So you can see bits of pumice in it. And if you go to the northern end of the um, Story Bridge, you can actually see some carbonised tree stumps um, that got caught up. Um, so if I zoom out a little bit, you can see the flow of the tuff that uh, went down the valley. So that was a really um, exciting time in uh, <clears throat> in uh, Brisbane's history, and it would have been pretty um, it would have been pretty traumatic for the dinosaurs. So after that excitement, um, we don't get excitement for a while. Um, it's just a lot of um, uh, erosion and uh, uh, you get sandstones put down um, and alluvium from the river. So you get your Oxley group, which is actually fairly young, Cenozoic. So you get your clay stones, your sandstones, your shales, your basalt, siltstone, bit of limestone. Now, um, so you've got to go out to um, Ipswich. Um, so Edward Vale and, um, uh, and so what's that? That's alluvium. Let me just find Ipswich um, to get your um, to to get your coals. Um, Marburg's where the uh, um, Marburg's where the uh, the weather um, radar is. We can watch the storms come in <laughs> from the west. Um, and what's interesting is you can see various sort of uh, so this I think this is your Mafic volcanic. Okay, yeah, so, um, and you can see various alluviums, you can see where the old river used to go, but then the next excitement happened um, 20 to 30 million years ago um, when um, we passed over the hotspot, although that, that is disputed as to whether it was a hotspot or whether it uh, was connected to Zealandia. Anyway, you've got to go up near uh, Debra and um, unfortunately, actually there's one volcano that is still, um, you, can see, um, you can see on a map um, from 23 million years ago. So you've got to go down the coast. Um, got to go down the coast to Mount Warning and you can still see it. So if I zoom in on that, uh, Mount Warning is the, is the, um, is an old shield volcano um, and it was massive that's that's Mount Warning there it was massive it was a shield volcano it was two kilometers high and the fact that it's still around um, you know you can still see part of it um, 23 million years later is um, a testament to how massive it was. Um, no, no, shield volcanoes aren't um, dangerous. Um, they're the ones like Hawaii where, um, um, so they're not the super volcanoes that you get at um, uh, Yellowstone. 
um, the, when the hotspot passed, um, when we passed over the hotspot 20 to 30 million years ago, it mainly was shield volcanoes and um, uh, fissures opening up. Um, there was, um, so, so I want to share with you, um, the Glasshouse Mountains. So, um, let me just uh, find you the Glasshouse Mountains. Yes, I've got some nice pictures. Okay. Just bear with me a second. And I'll give you um, the Glasshouse Mountains. So um, a lot of, like I was always taught that the Glasshouse Mountains were volcanic plugs and they're not. Um, they are plugs but they never got to the surface. Um, they're actually part of the Mullaney volcano and you can't see this, you can't see the Mullaney volcano. But these, um, but these rather than being basalt, which is the um, Mullaney, volcano um, are actually rhyolite um, rhyolitic plugs and um, so you can see you can see the very that's all you can see of them these days So um, Mount Biwa actually has ry uh, rhyolite um, columns, uh, and they have funny names. Like if you if you um, that's right, yeah, yeah, um, they were magma. That's the only that's the only reason um, they uh, still exist is because the plugs are harder than the volcanoes. The Mullaney volcano is long gone. But they have really cool names, Aboriginal names like Biwa and Coonawarren and Coochin. Uh, sometimes if you, you'll see me sign in and I'll say Beerburrum and you'll think, oh, she's just being silly. And, and I'm not. Uh, you can see there is a place called Beerburrum. Um, yeah, so it's a really, it's a really beautiful um, part of the world and there's lots of bushwalks. Um, you can walk up to um, you can walk up Biwa, which is about five hundred and fifty six uh, meters high. Um, it lies on um, these mountains lie on Steve Irwin Way. So there's Tibrigargan. That's a that's a really cool name. These are all these are all Aboriginal names. Um, but uh, Mount Tibrigargan was so named because, sorry, um, the Glasshouse Mountains were so named because when Captain Cook sailed past in 1770, he said they looked like glass houses from the distance, and they do. And you can see them from northern Brisbane. Um, they're so massive. All right. Um, Okay, so now I'll, I'll go back to the, um, oh, there's a funny story that I shared um, about um, the discovery of um, the Brisbane River in that, uh, you know, Captain Cook sailed through Moreton Bay and, and all these explorers um, sailed through Moreton Bay. <laughs> Love you too, Deborah. And, and... <laughs> And all these, all these explorers sailed through Moreton Bay and they failed to find the mouth of the river. And, I mean, it's a massive mouth and it's actually a delta. Um, when, the, when the bay was higher, um, the river actually stopped around about Hamilton, which is where the ferries finish. 
Um, and then as the, as, uh, the sea level was lower during various ice ages, it formed a delta. And you've got like Fisherman Island where they ship all the coal and oil and, and stuff. But uh, Moreton Bay itself is just a drowned river valley. Um, anyway, uh, so, but anyway, <laughs> anyway, so all these explorers failed to find the mouth of the river. And um, there are a couple of, there are a number of freed convicts and they were going from Sydney to Illawarra uh, to get some timber and they got blown off course, um, massively off course, a thousand kilometres off course, but they thought that they'd been blown south. Instead, they'd been blown a thousand kilometres north. So thinking they'd been blown south, they kept going north. And they were the ones that found the river. And uh, they walked up the river uh, for quite a bit. And then they found a canoe that had been left by the Aborigines um, out where Oxley Creek is now and uh, managed to get to Morton Island. And uh, I think Matthew Flinders came through um, and he stopped on Morton Island and he saw a couple of Aborigines that were very light-skinned and um, spoke English and it turned out they were those convicts. So they enlisted the convicts very reluctantly um, to explore the river. Um, was it John Oxley? It was John Oxley, yeah. Um, so, and it, it's not... Um, it's not as um, it's not as silly as you think because a number of East Coast rivers weren't discovered um, via sea. They were actually discovered inland. So um, I think that's a, I think that's a, a rather funny story that um, I discovered um, when I was researching um, the Brisbane River. Anyway, I'll go back to the geoscience portal and. Uh, so once the, once the hotspot was gone, um, not a lot of excitement, just a lot of erosion. So um, Western Brisbane is quite hilly, uh, inner Western Brisbane. Um, there's, rid uh, you have places like Red Hill, uh, which are actually ridges. Um, anyway, I'll, I'll get you to the Bay Islands. So we'll zoom out. So the reason why we don't have sort of the um, the beaches uh, in Brisbane is because we've got these islands. Um, so that's the Gold Coast. So that's your fantastic beaches of the Gold Coast. Um, but you've got all these um, you've got all these islands. Um, so this one is, um, I think Stratty. We call it, we, we lovingly call it Stratty. There's two of them, North Stradbroke Island and South Stradbroke Island. Um, now, even though, oh, sorry. Ah. <laughs> I've been telling Nick he's got to, he's got to try this. And um, okay, here we are. All right, here we are. So, as I was saying, um, you've got your beautiful beaches of the Gold Coast, um, but the reason why we don't have beautiful sort of surfing beaches in Brisbane is we've got these islands in the road. So um, we've got North and South Stradbroke Island, um, uh, affectionately uh, named North and South Straddy. Um, and these are just um, drowned ridges. You actually find the same bedrock um, uh, as for much of um, the mainland. So, so this, so you've got Dunwich. Uh, you can actually find rhyolite 
um, lava flows on uh, North Stradbroke Island, I think up here. Oh, coastal dunes. Okay, yeah. But this is a fantastic site. It's it's the Ausgin Geoscience Portal. So even though you do have sand on top, so you've got your sand, you've got your sand here, um, you do find, um, so the Wugaru love riodite. <laughs> so you do find like the Wugaru subgroup, which is uh, quartz and quartz sandstone um, and even coal. So the Wugaru um, uh, bed um, is out at Ipswich um, as well. And um, I must, um, and so you've got, uh, this is, you've got uh, North Stradbroke Island. A buddy of mine, if you've met him, lives on Russell Island. You've got Long Island, um, Panikin Island. So people live on these islands. My buddy lives um, at the south. So, yeah, you've got Bunyaphilite on um, Russell Island. So, um, so... So they're not just uh, sand dunes, but you can see uh, the, the if you want to go to the beautiful beaches in Brisbane, you've got to go to the um, east side of North Stratty. And uh, what I'm going to do um, at some point um, is actually um, um, I'm going to go to North Stratty and take a bit of a um, tour. So there they, they used to be um, sand mining on um, Stratty. And uh, we've stopped that now. So um, yeah, you can rent a um, you can rent a scooter and uh, scoot around the island. So I'm gonna I'm gonna do that uh, at some point because I want to see these uh, this this rhyolite. So you've got people living on the clay and lamb, uh, and there's bunyaphilite there. So. Um, that's the basic geology of, um, so Peel Island, um, actually if I take you to the mouth of the river, you'll see what I mean by delta. So you can see uh, this is the mouth of the Brisbane River and you can see what I mean by delta in that um, you've got Fisherman Island, the port of Brisbane, um, and you can see um, the airport um, as well. Oh, and you've got your um, Tingalpa um, formation. No, no, the Wugaru subgroup. Uh, Tingalpa is um, very um, swampy, um, as is much of um, Marie. Um, uh, a lot of um, a lot of East Brisbane is just um, reclaimed swamp. Um, one thing you might find interesting is um, there's a line that you can see uh, going up um, Brisbane Audley Evel Everton Park. That's the Normanby Fault, which is a thrust fault, which um, gives you the boundary between the Bunya Phyllite. Um, and the Naranli Fernvale beds. Uh, it's not active. There's another fault around about Wynnum. Um, I'd always wondered actually why um, from Bay Terrace uh, it suddenly drops um, sort of five to ten metres and it turns out there's a fault. Um, yeah. And one thing I find um, interesting about my suburb, The Gap, is the reason it's called The Gap. Look how built up that is. That's how built up Brisbane is. 
But uh, one thing I find interesting, this is my suburb. This is where I live. So the red stuff is um, the red stuff is uh, the Anogra granite, and I posted some on the Facebook page, um, is that you can see on three sides you've got mountains, including, um, but if you follow Anogra Creek, you'll see a gap, and that's why they call it the gap. Hang on, I'll just take out. I'll just take out that, and then you can see it a little bit better. So you can see that the Taylor, there's the Taylor Range on three sides. You've got your Anogra Reservoir, and um, there's a creek running through Anogra Creek, and you have a little bit of a gap. And that's where the creek runs through. And that's why they call my suburb The Gap. <laughs> um, yeah, so are there, um, are there any questions um, at all? Does anyone want to appear on screen and chat? Um, You're quite, uh, you're quite welcome to do that. Um, I can, um, I can put the, um, I can put the link um, in the uh, uh, comments, and you can click on the link and uh, chat to me live, which could be fun. Um, yeah. So, any questions at all? I think I gave you. Um, I really must work out how to um, how to get um, PowerPoint working so I can show you all these pretty pictures. But I might actually upload the PowerPoint to the Facebook page. Um, oh, you're in your PJs. <laughs> oh, well, it's not wine time for me yet. <laughs> It's only one o'clock in the afternoon. I'd be a bleeding legend if uh, I was drinking wine. Well, um, that was the, the the cause of the crustal expansion was the subduction. So you've no longer got this, you know, subduction story happening. You know, the trench was jumped. Um, so way out, um, you know, sort of further out. So that's why it... That's why the crust relaxed. Um, so it was the it was the cessation of the subduction that um, led to the crustal expansion. It actually happened a few times. Um, there was uh, yeah, yeah, um, and it seemed to concentrate itself um, around southeast Queensland. Uh, we have a place called Stanthorpe. Uh, which is where all the apples grow and uh, have fantastic wineries. And um, they, uh, yeah, so, um, and I'd always wondered what was the cause of the granite belt, and that was from that crustal expansion, and that's quite inland. Um, what's interesting down the coast um, is that you have two sets of volcanism um, visible. So you've got um, what's called the Chillingham Volcanics um, down the Gold Coast, which are intruded by the later hotspot activity. So Mount Tambourine um, and there's beautiful, beautiful, beautiful red soils um, related to that hotspot activities um, from the weathered basalt. Uh, if you go up Mount Glorious, that's an old basalt lava flow. And um, and uh, uh, beautiful, beautiful red soils. Uh, the Redlands, um, that's pretty obvious. Um, Cleveland and that, um, they have beautiful red soils and they grow strawberries there and uh, a lot of, uh, a lot of uh, winter fruits. Um, so, yeah, any other questions on uh, so no one no one wants to talk. <laughs> I'm 
I I must work out how to get um, a PowerPoint working because I had a, um, a beautiful um, PowerPoint presentation prepared and uh, it's all gone to hell, which is uh, unfortunate. <laughs> Sorry, Patrick. Yeah. Um, okay, well, I think that's enough from me. Um, I will work out. Um, if you if you want another one of these, yeah, I I have um, you know I have a lot of time, uh, and I've been inspired by Nick. You know, I mean, he does an incredible amount of work, and uh, it really um, it really inspires me to read up on the geology of uh, my own part of the world, which is just as interesting. Uh, we don't have exotic terrains, but, uh, you know, we do have serpentinite and ophiolites and uh, limestone and coal and... Uh... Yes, well, um, hopefully I will see you um, tomorrow uh, for Nick's premiere. Um, I might do another one of these and I will try to figure out. So I may, we might keep this at a Wednesday. Um, we might keep the as a Wednesday, so I will try to figure out um, how to share um, my PowerPoint presentation because I put all this work into a beautiful PowerPoint presentation, and uh, I can't. Uh, so I've shown you the I've shown you the stones of. Uh, um, I might. Uh, yeah, so I might uh, I might go into might go into more depth on certain aspects um i'm i might actually go into um the story of the helidon limestone and the helidon sandstone and uh the beautiful buildings that are made out of it and the buildings made out of the brisbane tuff um and the various granites um it's uh, interesting and all the coal that they take out of it switch as well so um Lovely to be with you. Hopefully I'll see you in about, um, what is it, uh, 14 hours time. It'll be 3 a.m. my time. So whether I'll be A, um, sober and B, um, conscious um, is, uh, <laughs> is up for discussion. All right. Um, so hopefully I'll have a few bugs um, ironed out next time and I'll work out um, what I want to talk about. Um, these are so fun. All right, so I'll, I'll catch you guys a little bit later for Nick's premiere. Cue the crappy music. All right, bye for now.